What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Today, we got some more business to do here in uh, Mount Cariola. We've uh, taken, I guess, probably about half of the map by now, so we got a little bit more to go. Well, probably the worst of it is already over, I would say. Uh, this place is neutral. Uh, what's this place look like? That is rather lawful. So, oh, Margaret's here. That's kind of strange. Uh, actually, hmm. I feel like I want to go with Katrina. I'm just trying to think about who needs more work. Uh, not so much even uh, as far as levels are concerned, as much as I want the class the the units with people who still need to change to their higher classes to get some work. So here I'm kind of spreading Magnus and Fidach out around this area just because I want to discourage uh, people from going near the uh, neutral stronghold. Yeah, I'm just looking at the uh, the list of items to find in this place and I'm pretty sure I've it's looking a lot like I found not all of them but there's actually nothing that's really good here there's an item called the silver hourglass which uh that might be good but to be completely honest I can't even actually remember what it even does I want to say it like stops uh, enemy unit movement or for a while or something, but the specific details escape me. Taken down and over, sort of. Not really. So let's have let's have Fidach move up there. Katrina, you continue going after Siren Face. And Magnus, you can just move up a little bit. I know there's a couple units kind of surrounding the the main headquarters here, but I don't think there's anything other than there's a DN here and there's an enchanter here that I saw earlier. There he is. Preparing for combat. You're dead this time. You're also in the back row and therefore completely incapable of doing anything. More or less. Die. You dead. Good job. You did it. Wow. Lots of useless items in this map. Uh, let's see. Use item. Okay, yeah. So we used the magic or the silver hourglass from the just the main battle menu here. And slows the passage of time. I'm not sure what that actually means, because if it's referring to just like the the time and the clock in the top right there, and that doesn't actually help me at all. Like I I don't care how much time is passes. Got a couple of Valkyries, got a couple of Freyas. Uh, what the hell? Let's go after them with Margaret. Margaret's the one that needs to take this stronghold because it's neutral, so whatever. I don't know how well she'll actually fare, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, just for the heck of it, let's send Fidach up in that direction just in case she needs backup. Because after all, it is looking like, you know, Valkyries versus Freya's, so. And with Margaret's speed, she's probably yeah she's still gonna t overtake Fidach easily. So, but 
PDAT should at least arrive in time to provide aid if aid is required. So yeah, Freya's are almost identical to Valkyries in every single way. Uh, they even still only get two attacks, so there's that, um, which is rather annoying. Freya's would be much better if they got more attacks, but that's not the case. So, you know, take what you can get. And they get AoE magic instead of just normal magic in the back row. So there's that. I'm actually doing pretty good here. Maybe I can use a Pedra. Kill off a couple of those weak units. Oh nice. Both both the weak units are targeted, so they should both go down. Well that was better than I expected. My one middle Valkyrie has taken a bit of a beating, but... Meh. Okay, Fidatch. You can return home. Uh, how are you doing, Mylene? You're in good health. Send you up. Okay. Give you a little bit of time to regenerate. Maybe while I'm sitting here, the uh, Freya will run herself tired. Leaderless units are tend to be very good at running back and forth until they camp out when they're when you're standing next to them. It's pretty convenient, actually. Uh, let's move up here a bit with Magnus. Take on these two units kind of at the same time-ish. Another Silver Hourglass, huh? I don't know if I'm actually ever going to use it, but it's there. Oh wow, you were generated pretty quickly. I'm here! No more AoE magic for you. It's kind of funny actually that I'd almost prefer the Freya be on the front than in the back. Oh yeah, three-way lightning. That would be more impressive as if it was against an enemy that wasn't a Valkyrie. Because Valkyries have a high resistance to magic. Usually the three-way lightning can do like 80 damage, which is pretty darn good. It's not as impressive if you consider the fact that it takes uh, three Valkyries to do it, but it's a lot of damage. And if you're hitting someone like in the back row, it can be pretty satisfying not gonna point out the fact that uh, Magnus just did just did as much damage as three Valkyries combo attacking I guess I did point that out but yeah whatever Hope none of my archers die. Hmm. How best to deal with this? Do you have healing items? No, you actually don't have any items. That's convenient. Dragons versus Golems. Always a bit of a boring mix-up, honestly. Whoa, that's like an angel doll. I think that's actually might be what it's even called. 
Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Well, the enchanter was easily dealt with. Give you a second to camp out. Well, ready to attack! You're mine! I can't wait to do triple combos with Freya's. It's very fun. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they're still not quite at that point where they can class change quite yet. But they're close. Okay. Back to your stronghold. Now, I think what I want to do is switch up formation just a tad. Archers tend to attack the furthest back opponent, so I'm hoping that by putting my weak archer in the middle, the archers in this unit will be less inclined to attack her. I'm also kind of hoping that they're all going to die before they get the chance to do much damage, but whether that is going to be the case or not is yet to be seen. So far, so good. And now the archer is exposed and she has no chance to survive. Well, that went well. Level up! I wish there was a stronghold closer to the headquarters of this place. There is not. Okay, so uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, take a quick little kind of off-screen break. I'm going to kill off this guy because killing golems with dragons usually takes a while. And then I'm going to get uh, Magnus and Fidach all rested up and get ready to kill the boss. So I will meet you back there in uh, just a moment. Okay, we're back and it all has been executed as I described. Let's take a quick look at the leader here. Some archmage named Gilse, or something to that effect. With a uh, not the best unit ever. He's also exposed. One thing also that I uh, kind of never really pointed out is if you look at the little red icon here, uh, that that's, uh, shows kind of the the icon of the enemy force that we're facing. It's like a little demonic head thing. So there's that. And ours is like a, what, an eagle with a shield or something like that. So yeah, it's a, it's a different enemy icon than usual. Just something that, uh, it's a little interesting tidbit. I mean, Hugo did kind of say that we weren't sure who we were fighting, and we are encountering lots of strange demons and stuff. Die! No, please, you first. And something tells me he's going to do so with ease. Didn't even get an attack. You are pathetic. Day of Reckoning, huh? Well, that sounds ominous. But victory alley music is not ominous. It's cheerful. And for killing what's his face, we get a Hrazvelg, which is of course a uh, a cast of staff. So, uh, first things first, let's take a look at the list class. 
Someone else can become a paladin, huh? Probably someone I don't actually want to become a paladin. Yeah. No new black knights, no more sword masters. Uh, ooh, dragon master. And of course, it's not my dragon tamer, it's a Valkyrie. Well, that's unfortunate. And my dragon tamer can become a Freya. Well, okay then. Uh, that's not quite what I was hoping for. I guess I could theoretically just like switch them, but I'd rather keep everyone in the units they are, especially for these uh, Valkyries. It's kind of important to keep them together because they need to uh, build up like the the longer a unit stays together, they build up like an invisible stat that's like unity or something like that. They get better at working together, and that especially affects your uh, chance of using combo attacks. So I want to keep them together. So let's see. Let's give the oh the Horaz Velg is actually not uh, any better than the Karakion, as it would seem. Let's double check that. Harzveld, seven intellect. Where is the Karakion? Seven intellect as well. Okay, well it's just a matter of different elements. Well, let us equip Saradin with the Book of Bane. It does in fact improve him a little bit. Uh, sure, let's give her the Harzveld. And the fur coat. And none of that business. Uh, right, let's give you back your proper shield now that we don't need the uh, hallowed shield anymore. The hallowed shield. Uh, I should give you all this spear. And a, I don't actually have another pointy hat. Okay, well, let's buy one by purchasing the required equipment for a witch. She's just in the back row. She's. That's not what I want to do. She's using magic! So I should give her magic boosting equipment. Makes sense to me. And everything seems to be in order, so I will leave it here for today on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Catch you later!